What up, man? Uh, what's up? What's good? What's good? What's up with it, man? Getting used to this technology, man. What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to y'all, too. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you, this Trail Talk TV. You know what I'm saying? We want to thank you for taking your time out talk with us and everything. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me, bro. Yeah, we're a big fan of y'all. We're trying to support you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it's it's been a nice time, man. It ain't been a week yet. You know, the albums came out last Friday. Shit's going uh -huh. good. Everything's <laughs> working out. Yeah, so tell me about the new album. Like, oh man, it just feel good, man, to be able to drop music. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've been in the game for a while, and I'm just thankful to be back on this level. Uh, you know, just reaching my fans, man, and, and, and giving them what they want. Um, uh, the, both of the albums is powered by Sir Jinx. You know what I'm saying? He uh hooked me up and did all the skits and everything, arranged the music for me and, and made it sound dope. So I'm I'm really excited about the response I've been getting so far, man. I just want to say thank all the fans for, for supporting the music, Hood Invasion and Any Trenches and Stores, you know what I mean? On, on all major mm -hmm. platforms, man, you can check it out. It sits off the hook. We're about to shoot the first, first video this weekend called Believe Me. So uh, right. going up, man, everything's working out. <laughs> Yeah, because you just dropped the album last year with uh, James Favage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The James Favage Project with Exhibit, uh, the Broken Ground Project. Yeah, mm -hmm. Open Bar Entertainment. Yeah. So uh, it's actually going to be the year anniversary coming up soon for that. So we definitely bump pumping that too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I know you had Jay Felony and now yeah. you switched to James Savage. Yeah. So what was up with the switch? Uh, man, it was just being creative with X, you know what I'm saying? And, and really. Basically, my, my government name is James Savage, so, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I, that ain't going nowhere, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. was, was tripping off that. That was really my, my government name was, was a trip, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, we just decided to go with that with the Broken Ground Project. But, you know, I've been jail felony since I was 15 years old, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that ain't going nowhere. It was just mm -hmm. basically the concept of, uh, you know, killing off the negative energy, basically, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what basically bro Broken Ground was about, you know, killing off the negative mm -hmm. energy, man, and, and showing them, you know, the maturity, man, and, you know, what I'm made of, you know? Yeah. So how lucky are you have the last name Savage? Yeah. That's like the popular word right now. Yeah, man. I, I was kinda, when I was a kid, I kind of, you know, was, you know, getting teased by that name. But, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It, it was it was all good though, man. But I, you know, my pop's name is James Savage. You know, I got a, a brother named J Dr. James Savage. You know what I mean? So, right. you know, my nephew is, is is named James Savage too. We like George Foreman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the beginning. Like you hooked up with uh, Jam Master J. So how did yeah. that come about? Oh, shout out to Jam Master J and Run yeah, Rest in peace. So rest in peace, man. To Jam Master J. Um, I'm supposed to be doing a new song with DMC. Shout out to DMC, too. No and, uh, um, yeah, man, it, it was crazy, man. I, I really enjoy uh, being creative with Jay. You know what I'm saying? I spent a lot mm -hmm. of time in the studio with him at 24-7 uh, Studios out in Jamaica, Queens. And um, we just used to have, have a lot of fun, man, and, and work and create. And um, mm -hmm. I used to go to his, uh, his mom's house in Queens all the time and hang out with his sister. And uh, we used to have parties all the time over there, man. I, I was just, you know, like a part of the family, man. I used to hang out out there a lot. And I just know, I just remember that energy that he had, you know, being from Queens. And he was like, you know, the, the captain out there, man. Uh, and and um, when he lost his life, man, it seemed like it just took the heart out of Queens. You know what I mean? Yeah. Straight up. So that's now you Hollis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollis, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Hollis Queens, man. Because yeah. They definitely helped me, uh, you know, be become who I am. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Straight up. And Queens ain't no joke, man. They I know. <laughs> from Queens, man. From uh, 50 Cent. So, you know, LL Cool J, man, it's, it's, a, it's a list of pioneers from Queens. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. so they definitely ha had a part in to helping me develop my career. You mm -hmm. know? Look, yeah. that helped you with, like, I know West Coast more known for game banking. But you yeah. had some lyrics with yours. So yeah, being the Queens, that helped you out a little bit. Yeah, it, it helped me out, you know what I'm saying? But but um, you know, as a kid, man, I've been just always a connoisseur of hip hop, period. You know what I'm saying? And, and those were some of my favorite artists was Run DMC and LL and guys like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And um, you know, even with, with Ice Cube and NWA and, and mm -hmm. uh DOC and all those guys, man, it's just, you know, they they came with it. You know, they mm -hmm. never they never played with the game. And one thing I did learn from, from Ice Cube is 
make sure you got the best verse on the song. You know? <laughs> Even my yeah. dog, 40, you know what I'm saying? I, I got mm-hmm. a lot of that from those guys, too. Um, and I really look up to those guys as, as, as dope artists that stay relevant in the game. Mm-hmm. And uh, they, they put their foot down no matter what generation. Or, or none of that is no generation gaps mm-hmm. when it comes to guys like that. And shout out to Snoop Dogg, too, because they know how to stay mm-hmm. relevant and, and keep the torch lit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I, I, look at, I look after that. I look up to that, and I, and I pat myself after that. So I'm just happy mm-hmm. to be back in one piece. Mm-hmm. All the trials and tribulations I've been through, I came out without no scratches, no bruises, man. So I'm here, you know, representing, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and stay focused. And, um, you know, I never had a chance to um, drop consecutive music like I am now. Yeah. I'm just so happy to give people what they've been missing from me for all these years, man. Yeah, because it's been a while since you, since the last album you just dropped. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's since the first one, well, back in, what, 2000 or so. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. it's crazy. With these two projects, man, everybody's telling me what what's their favorite song and everything, and, mm-hmm. and it's crazy. So I'm about to shoot the video that people keep requesting. This song called "Believe Me," mm-hmm. and um, it's produced by Rhythm D. From you know he worked with N.W.A. and Easy E. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Shout out to Rhythm Rhythm D out there in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And, um, and man, it's, it's gonna be fun, man. And, and um, I already have part two of both of those albums mixed and ready as well. All right. All right. So, uh, I'm about to hit him with another two albums. In the mm-hmm. and Hood Invasion Volume Two, that's already mm-hmm. done, mixed, master, ready to go. Mm-hmm. So you mentioned Snoop, and he had a battle with DMX, and you yeah. did songs with both of them. Yeah, did you ever catch the battle? Oh uh, yeah, I definitely was tuned in for sure, man. Shout out to Swiss Beats and Timberland for for having that platform mm-hmm. and giving us something exciting to do while we in this pandemic. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and uh, I gotta say, shout out to DMX and Snoop because they both. They, they they made it fun and they made it interesting. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, was, it was just fun to see both of the, you know, top dogs together like that mm-hmm. and, and representing and, and, and not just, you know, battling each other, but the guys was having fun and they mm-hmm. were respecting each other's craft. You know what I'm saying? And that, that was the main thing that I got mm-hmm. out, of it, out of it. It wasn't about, you know, who went, who went, won or lost mm-hmm. because I feel both of those guys won and to see yeah. them happy like that and to see Snoop doing his boogie yeah. I was out here. I was cracking up having a ball with those guys. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it was a the dogs, man, because yeah. they both legendary, you know, rappers in the game, man. So it was mm-hmm. definitely a, a good. It was definitely a great energy for everybody that was watching. Mm-hmm. The nigga had fun watching Snoop get his boogie on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. so, straight up. So anybody that you would want to have the versus battle with? Um, I, I really don't want to battle anyone. Mm-hmm. I just want to. Uh, focus on on my craft and, and dropping music right now that's all i'm focused on is, is catching mm-hmm. up you know what i mean it's basically like i'm catching up to uh to my fans like i want to give them what i mm-hmm. was was i what i uh had i've been in the game you know i've been going through my trials and tribulations being on different labels and all that stuff mm-hmm. but I, I actually stayed rapping on other people's stuff or, or, or trying to make mixtapes or whatever to, whatever to do to mm-hmm. keep me, me in the game and keep me relevant until I found the right situation to mm-hmm. where I can put out back-to-back music like I have now. I got uh, my own label, Local Entertainment. I mm-hmm. got my, um, my, my Everything's Cracking. I got three different channels to, uh, for the digital dis- distribution, you know what I mean, to put out mm-hmm. my music. Um, it's, a lot, it's a lot coming from me, man. We got a film division, Local, local Films. Um, mm-hmm. We're working on a documentary right now called The Evolution of Gang Culture. And it's talking about how, you know, back when I put out a, a song called Trued Up, it yeah. was getting so much momentum and the video was crazy. Mm-hmm. And, and it was just getting added to all the stations. Miami was playing it. Everybody was playing the record. And all of mm-hmm. a sudden they start taking my record off the air because of uh, it was like I was I was I was going against Jay-Z at the time. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, shout out to Jay-Z. We straight. We all cool now. You know what I'm saying? There's no issues. But at that time, it was like, it wasn't a battle like how him and Nas had a battle. It wasn't yeah. like that. It was like we was on the same label. So I was, we was going at each other or whatever. But mm-hmm. the label was like, hey, man, if you play that J.O. Felony record again, we're going to pull all your all of our artists mm-hmm. off the Summer Jam and shit like mm-hmm. that. So it was underhanded shit going on that wasn't fair to me as an artist. And both of us are your artists, but it's it's all good, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. But but I, I got past that, and um, I remember we uh, I was in Long Beach 
I was uh, dating the homie uh, Trady's niece, uh, uh -huh. um, and we was in Long Beach, and Jay Z had called, and she was like, "Nigga, Jay Z on the phone," you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, "You bullshitting." So he called, and um, I remember us actually going to uh, to Beyonce's after party to squash our differences, man. And I ended up, you know, having having drinks and just mm -hmm. chilling out. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, shout out to Big Chuck for making that happen because uh, Big Chuck he was working for Aftermath at the time, and he uh he made that happen and got me and Jay Z back on cool terms. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's been straight ever since. Yeah, you got any uh, artists that you coming out on your label? Oh, no doubt. Um, I got my homie Bully Three, man. It's free Bully Three. He locked up mm. right now. It's, it's, my, right. it's my bro, my little bro, bro from my neighborhood. Um, his his pops used to run with me back back in the day, and his pops was my G homie. All right. And uh, he rest in peace. To, uh, rest in peace, to little bull. Um, mm -hmm. He was actually singing on the Sherm Stick record when I made Sherm Stick. So oh, yeah, yeah. every time I, I, I think about little bull, man, I just put on Sherm Stick, and I can hear him singing that Teddy mm -hmm. Pendergrass song. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and um, but he'll be out soon. You know what I mean? And he's probably one of the first guys I'm working with. Um, mm -hmm. You know, when he get released, and. Um, Man, we just got a lot, of, a whole lot of stuff coming. So I'm just concentrating on getting everything right, getting the label properly set up, so I could, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I could make sure that my artists get what they deserve. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm definitely not gonna play no games, and I'm not gonna just have nobody sitting around putting and giggling over here, man. It's gonna be mm -hmm. real. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's gonna mm -hmm. be real, real business. You know? So I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to helping, helping out other artists, and, and um, just really putting San Diego where it's supposed to be when it comes to this hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, one thing about it with me, man, uh, and just for the West Coast in general, like, I try to, you know, come with a sound that's, mm -hmm. that, that you can't just label me. I don't want to just be labeled from the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Even though I love where I'm from, that's not the mm -hmm. point. I don't want, as soon as you hear my music, you know, oh, he's from the West Coast. That's not that's not how I make music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I got, a, I got a new song. I actually have a new another new album coming out on October 3rd. Called mm -hmm. Get Your Feet Whooped. The Get okay. Your Feet Whooped album, I got a song on there that my boy Ace Man produced. And um, shout out to Day One and Ace Man. And, mm -hmm. uh, and the song sounds like females tapping, dancing in the shit. Right. So he said he made that track with me in mind. And when mm -hmm. I hear it, it sounds like I picture females tap dancing, and the <laughs> Jabberwockies dancing. Shout out to the Jabberwockies <laughs> from San Diego. I just, I, I want to picture, I, I, I feel it's going to be one of my biggest songs. And um, and when I do it, you guys will see what's up. But it's it's on the new album called "Get Your Feet Whooped" that I'm dropping real soon as well. Yeah, because I noticed on the last album you just dropped, you kind of switched up the styles of some certain songs and stuff. Yeah, no doubt. I I try to ride the beat. You know what I'm saying? So what I do is I try to get the beat first. That's why I don't need a lot of guest appearances or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because um, every time whatever the beat is saying, if that beat doesn't talk to me, I'm not going to use it because I, I love when if people really hear and listen to how the beat goes around what I'm saying, mm -hmm. you'll really hear that beat talking to me in that rap. You know? And I'm not going to rap to it if the beat don't talk back. Mm -hmm. Straight up. And I know you all just seen you post up. You got some uh, J.L. Felony merch and James Savage merch. Yeah. So tell people where they get that at. Oh, they can get the merch at Just My Brands right now. Shout out to the homie Saif over there overseas in Europe, man. And he's uh, he putting it together for me. It's, it's looking real dope. Um, we got the leggings for the females. We got the mask. We got the blue, the blue rag, mm. you know, mask. We got the red mm. rag mask for the Don mm. moves, man. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm. just out here pushing my line. And um, I got support from Bloods and Crips, so don't get it twisted. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And one thing I want people to understand is that I'm not out here gangbanging. It's a mm -hmm. big difference uh, when a person is gangbanging as opposed to being a Crip. That's two totally different things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I'm, out, I'm not out here uh you know trying to push violence or anything like that i'm out here representing where i, where I grew up that i've been mm -hmm. a part of since i was 12 years old you know what I'm saying? yeah how how crazy is it you see oh, that's why it's oh okay but, yeah, yeah but, how but, crazy um, you see game banging like basically across the world man. yeah you know what i'm saying it's it's like uh i'm not banging i'm representing where i'm from it's a big mm -hmm. difference you know what I'm saying? And I'm not against no one from, from representing from no other color, none of that, because I feel like when it come to when it come to what we really stand for, mm -hmm. it was never meant to be violent against our own people. And that's the mm -hmm. that's the that's the misinformation and, and the misunderstanding that we got as as a people when we was younger, 
we should have never been going at each other's throat because all we were doing was was tearing each other's down. So so it's not mm -hmm. it's nothing wrong with representing where you're from and representing your neighborhood, but mm -hmm. us killing each other is what I don't I ain't never agreed with that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't mm -hmm. never agreed with us killing each other. You know what I mean? So that's not what Crip is about, and that's not what Crip was made from. Crip stands yeah. for revolution and Crip rep, community revolution and progress, and it's a spinoff for the Black Panthers, and it was about protecting our communities against uh, crooked cops and, and people trying to infiltrate it with drugs and all that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and it just got misconstrued somehow with, you know, blue and red against each other, but I feel like, you know, a lot of the powers that be played into that shit and we fed into it too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. but, but now it's a whole different story. Um, a lot, of, a lot of blacks are coming together from both sides, man, to push one, one, one cause, you know what I'm saying? And to represent mm -hmm. for this black, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause I just went out to LA for the first time, like a couple weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. And I just checked out Nipsey spot and everything. Uh -huh. yeah, it's probably a lot of love out there too. Yeah. No doubt. No yeah. doubt, man. Hey, shout out to L.A., man. I mean, I, I got so much love for L.A. because they always had my back. And, um, you know, me being from San Diego, man, I, I just – all I know how to do is, is keep it hood, man. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, I've been in them Twin Towers and them Waysides. And, and, you know, one thing about me, they know, man, this dude going to be on the front line. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm going to kick off a ride if I see anything racial. I done did it before a million times over. If I, if I don't have mm -hmm. any – tolerance i don't have any uh i can't fuck with racism you know what i'm saying like my my, mm -hmm. my energy as soon as i see it I, I when i was in jail i'll be ready to kick a ride off like i explained to you like one time i seen these little stupid white boys right mm -hmm. and they kept throwing up a fucking swastika you know what i'm saying they kept throwing up that that hitler shit right mm -hmm. so i went to two of my boys that i knew was with the shit and I told him, hey, cuz, we finna kick off a ride. The next time one of them niggas throw one of them bullshit signs up, mm. I'm taking off and I ain't getting nobody permission. So I took the two guys with me to them white dudes and I told them, y'all, we we, we, we went to they, whatever they call a shot caller. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I told them straight up, hey, if your people throw that shit up one more time, it's finna go up in this motherfucker on 40 Crip. Period. Yeah, man. Period. Nigga, y'all throw one more motherfucking swastika sign up and we gonna air this motherfucker out. Period. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean about standing up. I done been rolling with, shout out to recipes to Dr. Khalid Muhammad. Um, mm -hmm. I done done security for Dr. Khalid Muhammad with me and my homie, little sneak around. When he came to San Diego with his son, we had his back, you know what I'm saying? And uh, mm -hmm. anybody would sneeze wrong, we would have shot you in your fucking face, period. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we all about this blackness before gang banging or anything, you know what I'm saying? And when he came out here, he didn't call no, you know what I'm saying, no, no, no Muslims or none of that. He went to the hood and got the Crips. And me mm -hmm. and my homie Lil Sneak Around was ready to do whatever we had to do to protect him and his son. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what's up. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying that, bro, because I see a lot of people jumping on this black bandwagon now and ain't really did mm -hmm. shit for the black community when it comes yeah. to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. It's but, uh, like, but we got a lot of tension now, so. That's what happened to George Floyd and everything. Yeah, that's why, you know, I try to stay in shape, bro, because I ain't, I ain't no violent person, but if a police pull me over and they're respectful, I'm going to do what I do and be respectful back. But if you pull mm -hmm. me over and I feel you got any kind of racial bullshit going on, I'm going to fire your shit up because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not complying mm -hmm. with you with none of that. So I'm standing in the gym working out and just staying focused. I'm not a violent person, but I'm definitely not going to get res disrespected by anyone. Mm -hmm. Period. And if I'm so quick to to ride on on another motherfucking black man, I ain't got no tolerance for no no police mm -hmm. cracker pulling me over and talking no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying all cops are bad or none of that because that's that's I, that wouldn't be true if I said that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you do have good cops out here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna say that all cops are bad, but there there's cops that is racist as fuck out there, and we need to get rid of them. Yeah, because I'm out here in Carolina in the country or whatever. So. Yeah. So y'all go so, through it worse than we do because on some real that's shit. That's what I'm about to ask you. I'm like, on some real uh, shit, uh, yeah. out here in San Diego, man, we really don't have no problems like that. The police be like, I'm going to tell you like this. Like, I got I got locked up by the cops one time, and mm -hmm. my hand was swollen because I had I just socked somebody in the head like a day before. So mm -hmm. when, they, when they was about to lock me up, I put my hands behind my back. He seen my hand was swollen. He was like, man, you need medical attention. They took me to the hospital, and mm -hmm. somehow – 
I ain't even never go to jail, man. My, my, my mind was so sharp. I ended up getting the fuck up out of the hospital and, and, and going home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. I don't know how I got the fuck out of going to jail. But <laughs> by the time the police was like, man, this dude, we out of here, man. And they mm -hmm. left me in the fucking hospital. I'm like, God damn, I ain't going to jail. I ain't had no handcuffs on. I'm mm -hmm. out of this motherfucker, right? So, you know, just situations <laughs> like that. And then one time I got pulled over, man. And I was in L.A. I was going to 92.3. I was going to the radio station. Oh, mm -hmm. I, was going, I was going to K-Day, matter of fact. Okay. And I got pulled over by the cops, man. And this nigga called Glasses Malone, man. And this nigga let me go. He was like, man. He was like, Glasses. Glasses like, let him go. That's J.O. <laughs> He's like, let him go. That's my big bro. Let him go. And, man, I, I, I had to tell that story on the radio. I'm like, Glasses Malone just got me out of trouble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had to tell that story on the radio. But but shout out to Glasses Malone, man, and that cop that let me go, man. I'm glad you yeah. didn't trip on me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right well, here, it's like they see you in the black. They see three of y'all in the car. Yeah. White cop that pull you over. <laughs> they come yep. to get you. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, it's, it's something we've been dealing with forever, man. And I just feel like um, – I don't know, man. I just it seems like, man, it's a lot of tension and like like these people trying to start a race war out here and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And we can't win no race war. You know what I'm saying? We can't win if we we fight with hate with hate. Hate, mm -hmm. is, hate is not good. And then when you hate someone, it's only eating you up inside. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like when you when you hate the person, it's like it only eats the person up. Damn. If you hate me, how the hell do I feel that? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, you can hate me all your life, especially my enemies. Hate me all you want and let it just eat you up inside until you have a heart attack. Because I'm not trying to hate anyone. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because hate only eats the person up that's that's ha that's holding that hate. Yeah, because I always say, like, now I'm like, if you a white racist, why are you mad at black people? Like, what do we do to ever do to y'all? Yeah, you already got over us on this. Motherfucker, uh -huh. you should be happy. Y'all put us in slavery uh -huh. already. What the fuck more else do you want from us? Uh -huh. How could you still hate a person after what you put us through as a people? And no one else, you know, went through what we went through as a people for all that time. And then uh -huh. we still had to, um, we still had to come from nothing after you so-called released us from slavery, which you uh -huh. really ain't released us from slavery because when it come down to it, we still were slaves because y'all locking us up in these fucking penitentiaries and making us work for 25 cents a week or, or a day or whatever. So mm -hmm. you're still enslaving us, but it's, we just not on a plantation, but we on, in a penitentiary on a plantation. Mm -hmm. So what's the fucking difference? And, and the cold part about it is if you don't work in jail, you can't just sit in jail and sleep in your bed all day. Mm -hmm. Because your ass gonna be there for whatever time they got you lock, locked up for. Mm -hmm. You have to work or go to school, or whatever the fuck, or you're not going to get your halftime. So it's like, basically, it's it's a catch-22. If you don't work and bust your ass on this chain gang and make these mm -hmm. draws and these license plates, you mm -hmm. ain't getting out of jail. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to do this slave labor. Yep. For 25 cents an hour, or whatever they give you. Yeah. yeah I see. Slave labor. So they really didn't free us like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They, they just made it, they, made, they just put slavery in another way, man. And that's being having us all incarcerated and making us work for twenty five cent an hour is still slavery. Mm. I just seen one in the comments. Somebody asked, um, "You do a biopic?" Yeah, I did. I did the uh, Broken Ground with me and Exhibit. That was like a basically what we call it a, a docu musical. You know what I mean? So it was mm -hmm. like real life stuff mixed with fiction, mixed with all kind of shit, and we just mm -hmm. put it together and had a ball. And um, it's out. It's called Broken Ground. You guys can check it out on World Star Films, or mm. you can check it out on YouTube. But yeah. um, it, it's crazy, man. And, and the album is under James Savage under that project. So for those that don't know, I did release a project last September under the, under the name, my real name, James Savage. Mm. So you guys can check that out too on all platforms too. All right. So you did a little acting on there. So yeah. any role you're trying to get, like something you want to play? Um, I don't really want to play any roles. I just but I have definitely have some very interesting ideas for some films that I want to be a part of. Like mm -hmm. it was this one film, man, that I want the world to see how really evil people can be when they hate a race and they want to benefit off of uh, off a, a person. So I want to show some. I want to show the world this stuff that I don't think we. 
They should start teaching about this in history. This should be a class about what I want to make mm -hmm. this film about. I don't want to put it out there and then someone else beat me to the punch and I'll be like, man, here we go again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm going to keep the idea to myself because, you know, one thing about my career, there's been a lot of nip nipples and bites off me. So I'm mm -hmm. just, you know, I'm going to keep it to myself. All right. But I, but I def I'm definitely looking forward to making this film and it's real sad. It, it it got me emotional when I when I saw this story, and and it, and it's real sad, man. But but it's it has to be, it has to. I I have to get this out to the people. I have mm -hmm. to, and it's going to be a dope ass movie if I if I I'm if I'm able mm -hmm. to accomplish it. Yeah, I see another comment. Somebody want to know uh, who your favorite rapper is. My favorite rapper. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a few favorite rappers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because because the reason I say that. Is because back in the day, man, everybody had a different style. It wasn't mm. just a do 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 People like that that I grew up on, LL Cool J, uh, mm -hmm. Rock Kim, uh, Big Daddy Kane, uh, Cool G Rap, uh, man, uh, just the list goes on. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? The list, King T, the legendary King T. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Tupac, Biggie. I love yeah. all the greats, man. Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I love all the greats, man. Everybody that put their foot down. Method Man and Red Man. Uh, yeah. man all, all, all the guys that, that bring, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. uh, man, from from the, from everybody, man. Everybody that bring it in rap, man. I love what they do, and I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. and, and they're all my favorites. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody got different things yeah. that I like about them. You know what I mean? All right. So, uh, anything else you want to uh, let people know about? Hey, I just want to say much love to everybody out there that's supporting my movement, man, and supporting my label, Local Entertainment, my new releases. In the hood, hood invasion and in the trenches is mm -hmm. out now, powered by the legendary Sir Jinx. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You know how how I'm like a kid in a candy store working with Sir Jinx. Right. I don't never think I'm gonna stop working with Sir Jinx, man, because mm -hmm. it's like it's like man, he did America's Most Wanted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I'm a kid in the candy store, man. And, and Ice Cube is definitely one of my favorite rappers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so um. Just having Sir Jinx be creative with me and put all this stuff together, mm -hmm. I can't wait till he come back out here and do it again for me, man. Mm -hmm. Jinx got me cracking, man, and I appreciate it. And um, I just want everybody to know, man, I, I got the hard copies coming soon. I know everybody's asking for them. Don't get mm -hmm. in my head. They're pressing them up right now. And I'll let <laughs> you know when they're available so everybody can, can go pick them up. And I appreciate you guys for the support, man, and thank you guys for everything. Yeah. Straight I'm about up. to um, call me a couple of those shirts. Oh, you know no doubt. No yeah, doubt. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. You can get the merchant, just my brands, man. Hey, he's excited. He like, everybody's starting to order your shit. I like, I'm like, man, I told you, man. You know what I'm <laughs> so y'all go get that merch at Just My Brands. It's definitely off the chain. I got stuff for the females, for the Crips, for the Domus, for the essays, for the white mm -hmm. folks, everybody, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. We the human race out here. Let's get this hate up out of America, man, because the shit is getting ugly, man. Straight up. Uh, well, I appreciate you taking your time out. We're going to continue to talk to you and just change the sports, you, man. Hey, thanks for having me, man. Trill Talk TV and this bitch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's up? Wes. <laughs> yes.